Like, it, it, like honestly, like no matter how much support you play, Darcy's not going to be delirious on turn two very often, and will be delirious on turn three pretty often. Basically, no matter what you play. Update stream decker. I tried to. I couldn't find a thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the stream decker. Just give me a second, and then can someone please tell me what hat to wear? Something classy. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh. I should have held up both on turn one. This is going to be my classiest hat. Okay, I think we definitely play Darcy here. I'll get I'll get the uh, the thing in a sec. Want a sealer too? I don't know. I mean, the seal of fire is fine. I just don't think it's that necessary. Could upkeep Boros charm. I would have had Delirium if I did. I guess now I'll just play a second Darcy and Bolt. Two looks at a creature or artifact or... Um, I would want to Graveyard this land anyways. Well, didn't hit Delirium. Chat was right the whole time after all. Yeah, I know, I know the Stream Deck is old. Chill out for a second. Now we do have Delirium. If this hits them, they're just dead to both Boris Charms. No, don't steal. Don't steal. And the Surveil one is just worth its weight in gold, dude. Okay, Stream Decker is up to date all, for all the burn fiends. Of course, when I play burn, they just need it. Update Stream Decker. Fast, 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 fast. Right, main phase, of course. They had to uh they had to verdict this last turn. They might not have another answer. Looks like maybe a 3-3 three, three shark. Solitude. Oh no. Oh, can we draw a burn spell? Can I get some lightning helixes in the chat? Let's go! Let's go, dude. All right, playing against control. Let's bring in the third Eidolon. Uh-oh, we can't cut the Searing Blazes. Uh-oh. All right, that's mis we misbuilt our sideboard. That's fine. Let's keep them in. Just keep them in. Fresh Kale, thank you for Twitch Prime, appreciate ya. Channel it looked really good that game. Obviously a small sample size. Yeah, yeah, the surve the surveil and burn just seems absurd to me. I don't know. Yeah, it's Spike versus the Burn Discord. I think this is the first time I've ever streamed Burn. I just kind of feel like nobody's testing Ragavan, Darcy, and Burn. I mean, some people are testing Darcy, but I haven't seen, like, Ragavan. Crypto Blaze. Blaze is better. They they have Solitude. They've got probably Wall of Omen, Snapcaster. All right. Now, am I supposed to hold this Ragavan to dash? Or I'd probably cast it on turn one, but we'll see what we draw. Maybe you should be fetching to thin. Also, my 18 lands are so, so many. <laughs> okay, so they might have Snapcaster to block, which we can bolt. Just a planes. Ragavis and Darcy better than Goblet Guide and Swift Spear? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, we're playing Swift Spear. Swift Spear, like, I, I don't know what the worst creature or the best creature is. Swift Spear, we're still playing four. 
Goblin Guide, I feel like, is the worst uh, creature in the deck. Oh, was I supposed to play around Teferi? Yeah. Classic new burn player, huh? Now, do I hit them with Ragavan? I think I do. Hit them with Ragavan, play Eidolon. Sanctifier. I guess if I cast it, if I cast Sanctifier, it's kind of awkward because it turns off Darcy. But so like taking a free 2 2 is not that bad here. Right? I don't have Darcy in my hand. It's kind of bad with my Lurus, though. I'll just take the 2 2. Dashing Ragavan is not too good against the uh, Chalice, so I guess we bring in Smash. Do my hands all one drops. Yeah, that's true. If they bounce this, this is worse. In the play for game three. Well, that hit them. Yeah, I did have, we have Searing Blaze up for Solitude or Typhoon, but didn't cast anything. Factor Fiction. So let's go Charm with Colony, Counterspell with the other two. So annoying that this stays here forever. It took the counter spell. Play the land. Unfortunately, though, no longer that good against the Typhoon. Typhoon of Doom. Oh, come on. No, I don't think I don't think you can click on it to dismiss it. There's no like X like there usually would be. So my Lurus is like very likely to eat the counter spell in their hand that we know about. Alright, okay, it's gonna pack it into that one, I think. They get to untap the Sanctifier effectively with counter spell up. Let's bring in the smashes. I should have done that for game two, honestly. I also shouldn't have suspended the Rift Bolt when I did. Try popping out the Exile. Okay, I'll do that next time, but hopefully there won't be a next time, huh? One land, Darcy, Eidolon, Eidolon. I feel like I can keep this hand and use the Lightning Bolt to Surveil. I don't think I'd keep this hand against any deck besides Control, probably. But it's got, you know, we have the answer for the uh, chalice and I think this is fine. I don't think you want to play Mog Salvage. It's kind of cute and like this matchup specifically. No, I you know you don't need to bolt an upkeep because if you want to be able to draw a land and cast a, an idol on that turn, and if you draw a, a land off the off, af, after the bolt, you're not really accomplishing that much. I could have maybe kept the bobble, but it's kind of bad if they kill my, uh, yeah, so spear here. All right. Just that easy, chat. Just that easy. Uh, I've got the white source in the canyon. I think I'll just go ahead and get a basic mountain. I should I should have articulated why I wasn't bolting on upkeep though. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack here. Might just Snapcaster trade, then I'll play another Eidolon. Solitude Pitch Dovin's Veto, okay. All right, so let's not, um, 
Just jam the Eidolon into Counterspell here. So this turn, we'll see what we draw. If I draw a land, I'll probably double two drop, but I might just Luris in my hand. I also kind of don't want to commit into a verdict. Yeah, with the Luris, I have just so much to do with my mana. I'm going to fire off the Boros Charm. If my opponent has a second Solitude, we get kind of screwed. But usually they only play, they only play one Solitude typically, right? Maybe like a second in the sideboard. So I'm kind of soft to Shark, but I guess I can smash my own Bobble. But I really want to do that. Archmage's Charm on top. My opponent like very certainly has counter magic in there up here, so just like lurising in the hand seems decent to me. Just scrying too. Is Bobble gonna burn? Well, I'm playing burn with Swift Spear, Luris, and Dragon Rage's Channeler. Bobble is very good with all these cards, and you also like you know it's just like a fine filtering spell too. They did put two cards on top. One of them, I assume, was the Archmage's Charm. So let me cast this first. I'm kind of scared to play Rift Bolts against a possible Teferi. I don't think Bobble is a good fit. People always say that, but I, I feel like their arguments never get backed up. It's like Bobble's bad specifically when you have Eidolon in play and you get on top and draw one, but when you're on top with Eidolon, you're ahead. Bobble is also like just all, usually a good cantrip in decks that have a lot of instant speed spells, which Burn does. Like it's a regular Goblin Guy Burn. I mean, this is my first match with the deck. I don't know, but uh, it's felt like solid so far. I think the Burn players should be really, really resistant to changing their deck. Burn players also like have argued for a long time that Luris is not worth it, which just makes no sense. I don't like Bobble because it does do three damage. Yeah, but it can draw a card that does. One's definitely in a hard spot, huh? No, yeah, Burn never played anything to disable Luris. They just, like, have been... They drew, drew two. They do know their top card. Burn has just kind of claimed for a while that Luris is not better than the 15th sideboard card. So now if I put it on taps out for verdict, we get to Luris. Will my creature count this deck be if you have no monkeys? Uh, I don't know. They did have the Teferi. That's pretty bad. Now I guess we need to get to find out if the window pop out thing works though. This is exiled. I think it's just stuck forever, honestly. Yeah, I think it's just stuck. So I imagine my opponent counters this. They didn't. I'm just gonna attack them. And if they didn't counter the, like, so yeah, I'm gonna cast Luris here. I guess I should have cast pre-combat actually. Oh no, I shouldn't have shocked either. Sorry, sorry chat. But I feel like if they were gonna counter it, they would have already countered it. I'll just, I'll go to six. They don't have Colonnade in play. Yeah, so I guess I missed a point of damage. The top card is Castle Arden Veil. Vale. They're gonna Verdict. I mean, I know that they could Verdict us, yeah. I should have done this pre-combat, but uh, like they don't have a counter spell, so getting to resolve Luris and drawing the card seems pretty nice to me. They're main phasing Scrying too, so I guess we win. I should have done that pre combat. I didn't make. I made a lot of mistakes this match, but it's a bit too floody. I think. Can't believe. Like, I don't know. Obviously, it's a really small sample size, but eighteen lands is like totally fine in this deck. I feel. 
Awesome budget fridge. Yeah, I like the Phoenix deck a lot. That's good. We're playing against Lurus, so I probably want to keep Searing Blaze. Let's multiply. To put back the lava spike or the rift ball. Let's put back the lava spike. Yeah, I know, I know that Marty like the bump in the night is the black card for burn. It's just like what's like what the rest of the deck look like. Is it interesting in any way? I think Darcy is good enough without having haste. I think burn as a high linear combo deck once all of its cards ready to deal three damage. Well, one yeah, if you think about burn as a highly linear combo deck, you can think of channeler as a cantrip kind of, you know, as a card that's going to be filtering your draws and stopping you from flooding out, uh, which is super important for burn. Uh, and, and yeah, it's not going to hit your opponent all the time, but it's also true, like, even your haste creatures don't always hit your opponent. Um, and, and channeler is also one of the best cards in modern, hands down. Yeah, so I'm going to end up going... I want a Searing Blaze next turn, and so if I Rift Bolt this turn, my opponent can protect whatever I target with their... Uh, target their other creature, give it pro-red. So I don't think that... I think that if I, uh... So it's been a rift bolt this turn, it wouldn't end up that well. You can see Darcy Wickenburn. I don't think Ragavan's better than Goblin Guide at all. I mean you could be you could be right. I'm just trying it out. But it's it's also true, like Ragavan, like just talking about card quality. This card is a lot, lot higher than um than uh than Goblin Guide. Yeah, Ragavan seemed good last game. You know, we won't, it's a small sample size. But it's it's also like definitely true that Ragavan or Goblin Guide's downside is 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 definitely a real thing. So if I Searing Blaze this giver, they give their Ornithopter Pro Red and they get to block. If I attack with Ragavan, they probably block with Giver. But then if we Searing Blaze the Giver, it ends up being exactly the same. So we might as well just like give them the opportunity to not block here. It is true the Goblin Guide would, would be a better attacker this game. I don't want to like undercut that at all. Oh, just, they just get Shadow Spear next turn. We can't beat it. Okay. Why Swiss Spear over Goblin Guide? I heard why Ragavan over Darcy. Uh, I mean, I think that Swiss Spear is more powerful in the deck with Mistress Bobble. Mistress Bobble is a big buff to Monastery Swiss Spear. It's, 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 honestly, it's always been close, which of the two is stronger in the first place, right? Goblin Guide, Swiss Spear. Goblin Guide typically better on turn one. Swiss Spear often better on later turns. I'm interested in these cards, especially Eidolon on the play. I might play less Eidolons on the draw. I'm going to cut Ragavans in this matchup. And probably cut Lava Spikes. It's pretty good to me. Common Guy would have won this game. Would it have won the game, or would we have also died in the exact same way? Right? We would have definitely died in the exact same way. But I, Goblin Guide would have been better this game. Like, that that's the true stint sentence, you know? Um, I'm going to put back Bolts over Darcy. It's kind of close, though. Go, yeah, Goblin Guide obviously would have been better that game, but it still yeah, it lost, I think. Panic ending. This should be okay. Let's Searing Blaze that. Like getting the idol one down is pretty good though. The crazy bottom idol on. I think I think a turn two on the play idol on this matchup is really really strong. On the draw, I'm like likely to trim some idol ones though. On forge, good for us. They get a hammer. Ask to guard his aids. We have the Smash to Smithereens for a hammer. Back. 
have two hammers in bad shape. I think I heard Athena. Hold on a second. Do a smash hammer the thopter. Well, if they put the hammer on the thopter, I'm smashing the thopter. My opponent just putting Luris in their hand here. I'm just gonna Boros charm them. And then they'll probably Cigar is aid in response. They they're gonna take six down to eight, and then we can smash the smithereens. The Thopter. Put them down to three life. They can cast one they can cast one hammer. That puts them down to one life, and then they can hit me for 11. But if they attack, I attack them back and they die. If they have Hammer, Ink, Moth, Nexus, they win. They have Shadow Spear, buys them another spell cast. They do have Ink, Moth, Nexus. Why didn't we kill the Hammer? It's better to kill the Ornithopter. Why did we kill the Hammer? Thopter can block, hammer can't block. Hammer's only does anything with that paladin. I get I get I deal two more damage if I kill the, the ornithopter there. Around the draw, I do think I want to trim two Eidolons. We can either play Ragavan or we can play Lava Spike. Then we beat the Ink Moth with Hammer by Searing Blaze for one. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Ragavan just not very strong against Hammer. Especially on the draw. Yeah, he looks good. I think I think the ability for to be targeted removal is important in this matchup. Like, a lot of times you're going to play the control route. Oh, this, hand, this hand is good. Good, good. This turn might rift suspend rift bolts. Just bad against like cigar to aid hammer, but whatever. They have outs to palm. Not really. Palm is really good against them. Come on. <sighs> And we can palm them next turn, right? We draw another palm. Or, Giver of Runes does not beat. Um, Giver of Runes does not beat. Deflecting palm. I'm just trying to think. Like, am I? So if I put them put down a seventeen, then eleven down to six, yeah, then they die to the uh, bolt helix. So we're actually just doing fine here. I was able to count to 20. Yeah, that is true. If they go for another hammer, we win. Shout out to the chatter who suggested deflecting palm. Meanwhile, I don't see where we could possibly win this. Uh, def I think that the issue that you see is that Giver of Runes does not stop. Um, does not stop deflecting palm. Deflecting palm doesn't target. You tell me why it doesn't target, maybe. I didn't design the card, but it doesn't target. So we stop 11 damage, we deal 11 damage, then we go lightning bolt helix for exactly set 20 total. You didn't give them a chance to play the hammer. Uh, yeah, I probably should have done that, but I don't also think that there's any way we lose this game. Maybe we'll find out. Yeah, I mean, I, so when, when I say why it doesn't deal the damage, I know mechanically why. I know mechanically why it doesn't, but it's just like why they designed it that way, I don't know. That's pretty land heavy. 
We've got a Sunbig Canyon, though. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're never supposed to keep this hand. We have, we have like, two, like, really good two-mana creatures. Two-mana spells. Seems really close. It's like I'm I'm really happy if this is a six card hand that's just like minus like minus one land that's not Sunbay Canyon. I'm like really happy with this six. Chat pointed it out they could give it protection from colors to make hammer drop. Oh whoa. So I messed up, or I don't know. Maybe we just play that game from that point. Throwing a land obviously feels really bad. This is probably is the Glimpse deck, right? Glimpse is probably not a great matchup. Might win game one though. Probably wanted to play Canyon. Uh, why? Cause there's like, I guess we could double sacrifice two canyons next turn. That's maybe true, yeah. Yeah, I could see that being the case. Yeah, this is definitely not a great matchup to run into, right? Does Deflecting Palm do anything against them? Depends on what version they're on, right? But I feel like it doesn't usually do anything. Ragavan's probably good in this matchup. I, yeah, I mean, they might not be on the Emrakul version. I'll just play one. I'll just play one over, and then if they're on, if they're on Emrakul, then we bring in more Palm. For game three. Well, I don't think I would want to play Goblin Guide over Swift Spirit in this version. Wait, Goblin Guide wouldn't have dealt more damage than Swift. It would have only dealt one more damage than Swift Spirit because we triggered Prowess twice. Keep this hand. Go back a land. What version doesn't play Emrakul? There's an Elementals version that doesn't play uh, Emrakul. Okay. This is maybe beatable. On next turn's attacks? Well, we don't. you can't count next turn's attacks because we don't know if we were going to draw a spell or not. No lava spike. My opponent has Leyland of Sanctity in play, and I'm also casting Eidolon instead. No, I mean we we don't we're not we're not going to lava spike ourselves to the extra point where we can play Eidolon instead. Chat. We might do it next turn. We might do it next turn. It looks like they're going to spin to win. Yeah, Chat's having a hard time with Burn. Nobody's allowed to make fun of Burn. I'm I'm also not playing perfectly. But do I double Lava Spike myself? That deals me 10 damage. <laughs> That's 10 damage. But it makes my Swiss Spear 5 power, so I deal, I attack for a total of 7. Then, then, then down to 8. How 5? What? I have to Lava Spike myself, because of Leyline. Yeah, they might actually glimpse. They might if they glimpse, they might lose their ley lines. So yeah, I'll just hold the the spikes. Okay, we're Brett definitely bringing in deflecting palm. And they violent outburst. They you know they do take four. Prismatic ending so far. You could play this is my first draft of the deck. I could I, I definitely think you could play Prismatic Ending, but really the only Sanctifier deck at the moment is Hammer Time, and we just have Deflecting Palm for those, is my current plan. But you could definitely play Prismatic Ending, it would be totally fine. So they're looking to glimpse in combat here, I guess. And they hit Gristle Brand, good for them. Wait, they're just going to five? Alright. Three and O, oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. In a super fast league. This is how we get trophy leader. 
We want a die roll. We're playing against Hayashi. Cool, cool, cool. If Obosh is revealed, no companion revealed from Hayashi. Bit weird. Copyright the deck list. Any viable control deck? Yeah, I've been playing a lot of like blue black thing in the eyes control with uh, dress down and Luris, just guy Murktide control. There's a lot of uh, viable options, I feel. I'm gonna go Darcy plus Eidolon here, or I could suspend Rift Bolt instead. Oh. Well, I'm definitely doing that. Definitely doing that. Uh, Boros Charm is probably not that bad. I think I'm just going to graveyard it, though. So they probably have uh, Merfolk, Trick Binder, whatever that card's called. Tap Ragavan. We're going to tap Ragavan. So maybe I should just go Suspend Rift Bolt Swift Spear here. Kind of like that. We're pretty likely to get Delirium. Always cast Idle and SP. There's no, I think that this is a bit better this turn. It's like, it's definitely true if we cast the Eidolons too early, Merfolk could potentially deal us enough damage. We can just kind of put, keep them on the back foot here. All right, that's Delirium. Never always do something in Magic. You always want to like situationally do things. Like here, I think I just Helix this. I can suspend the Rift Bolt. Keep that. Ragavan pretty good this game, huh? Go keep another Darcy still. I might not end up casting it this turn, but just the flying seems pretty good in this matchup. Let's go to two. Okay, now I'll just play the Eidolon. Counter spell. There. Yeah, I have to have an answer to my channeler though. I imagine it's gonna be like another repeal. It could be a trickster, I guess. Let's just go to attack, see what they have. Nothing. <laughs> I can't even miss that attack. I just I can't miss the attack. It's kind of funny. Um is Deflecting Palm good against them? It's kind of like a Helix, right? It can be good, right? Very good in like a racing situation. Maybe I'll, cut, maybe I'll play like one Eidolon on the draw, two Deflecting Palms. Play Smash. Oh yeah, yeah, they're almost definitely playing uh, Chalice. Yeah, let's play the Smashes, good point. Then we could maybe like one spike, one Eidolon, one Palm. So yeah, I feel like I still want the first Eidolon. I feel like one spike's fine to have. Yeah, this looks fine to me. I don't like Palm, but it's also like a two mana spell that gets around Chalice. Is Palm really bad against them? Okay, well. I'll believe it. I'll believe it. I'll play. Let's play one copy. We'll play one palm. The first palm is probably fine to draw. Anything for Master of Waves? I'm not. I'm not worried about Master of Waves. I have a carefree attitude. Is what I have. Feels more like slide than burn. I mean, I don't know. It's also semantic y.
Let's see if they crack this uh, ratchet bomb or not. So you can blaze obviously great here. They're letting me hit them. No, they're not. Well, things are looking pretty good here, huh? That's not really that close. Yeah, I, I think Delirium is super easy. I really honestly just don't understand why people feel like it wouldn't be in this deck. Like it's like, I mean, Darcy is going to play the same way in this deck as it does in any other one that's like this where delirium is going to be kind of inconsistent on turn um i'm not gonna to think too much Delirium is gonna be kind of inconsistent on turn two and like very consistent on turn three and like you know that is kind of an issue not to be able to attack for three on turn two but you have other one drops and it's not that big a deal All right, well, let's get the prediction going. I lost twice off stream with the black white deck trying to get trophy number 24 yesterday. We need trophy 24 really badly. I'm not sure if I'm more likely to stream another league if I don't 5 0 or if I 5 0. We need more budget decks in the future. I think we're trying to do one a month for Channel Fireball. I really think that, you know, it's. It seemed like people are responding well to it and I had fun writing the article, but I also like, it's possible that I won't um, have ideas, you know? I have a couple. <laughs> Tasker is some spicy tech. My opponent keeps seven. Spire. Yeah, the 18 lands feels like, I on, what if you could even maybe go to 17. <laughs> Probably not, but 18 lances fell totally fine, chat. Portable hole. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Only three smash. Matic ending Eidolon. Ash. Kind of flooded here a bit. I mean, that's just another burn spell right there. An island instead of six fetch for ending. I'm not sure, like, exactly. We'll, 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 we'll think more about the sideboard. I don't think we need to stress too much about it right now. I'm not convinced that we definitely want ending in the sideboard. Elixir of Immortality, how could you ever be so unlucky? <laughs> how could you ever be as unlucky as me? Man, Channeler is so good! Channeler is so freaking good. Yeah, sure thing, Drew. We've been talking about it for a long time, and we just like had like an hour left, and I ended yesterday's stream early. I didn't want to end today's stream early too. It's definitely these the, the the these creatures have definitely felt solid so far. I'm gonna Boros charm them. Oh, I should have done this in response to Urza. This is two Darcy over two Rift Bolt, and it was mad. Well, Darcy's been really good for us so far today. We were just having different experiences, huh? But also, how good does it need to be for you, you know? So we find... Kind of hard for us to find two burn spells here. I might dash Ragavan kill Urza. Probably just better to try to get Delirium. There's Delirium. 
I mean, it's been like insane every time I've, I've we've played it today so far. It's been it really has been absurd. Let's put my opponent to one here. I can dash Ragavan and bolt Urza. It's probably just not correct. And Aluris here. Good Aluris. I feel like it's probably not correct. I'm just gonna put my opponent to one. Sometimes they play some counter magic. I don't know. It's like Darcy's. We've only played one league. It's a really small sample size. Chandler's been absurd. It like the whole league. Like this game. This game. It's been insanely good. Yeah, I'm gonna select the canyon. I'm gonna select the canyon. I live for possible win. I can't. I, I, the island can't give me a possible win because I I can cast the bolt with the one mana, but there, I don't have another mana to cast another bolt. There's nothing I could draw off Islet to win this turn. Okay, well that's bad. That was a reason to try to kill the Ur the Urza. We're obviously dead to the sword. Surely my opponent would have uh, cast that if they had it already. They could have Whir. We're also dead to Whir. They might not have blocked if we Ragavan. They, all, they have to block there. Sack portable hole, make a thopter. They have a way to get portable hole back. They're taking a point of damage to goblin engineer to get their sword. And now they win. So close. Ugh. Oh, they needed to gain one life because they couldn't cast the red. But then they just had, they just had Glimmer Void. They just forgot Glimmer Void taps for red. Unfortunate. So Searing Blaze can kill their Goblin Engineer. Yeah, the Elixir it was brutal. I think I'm gonna go minus two Searing Blaze, minus two Rift Bolts. I don't think I want Crypt. Yeah, Crypt is not very good at stopping the Thopter Sword combo. They just if they have another if they have another thing to crack, it doesn't stop it. I'm just not gonna, yeah. I'm just I've smashed the smithereens. I'm gonna try to yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to bring in Crypt. They need to do it that way, they need Glimmer Void. Oh, I see, you're right, you're right, you're right. What's that? I think Searing Blaze is better than Helix. I don't feel like we have that many targets for Searing Blaze. Yeah, I feel like I don't. I I don't really want to draw two searing blazes this this game. Probably, obviously, there's some situations where I would. Emery, their deck doesn't play Emery. If they're playing Dom's List, they don't play Emery. I guess Dom's List didn't play Engineer either. Yeah, if they're playing Emery, I want more searing blazes. <sighs> this hand's so good. If we draw a land, I'm gonna mulligan. Hand socks. Not like this. Mounted on top, no thanks. You can type exclamation point deck in chat and get the deck list. Creature, 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 creature. Okay. This might be a Luris game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a Luris spot. Luris and Burn seems like a mistake. This is actually a not Burn canister. This is a new deck archetype I've created. It's called Direct to Direct to Face Damage. Not deck. Working title. But I can see your confusion. Obviously, we're like pretty cold to like were into Urza. Yeah, Urza on top. So I guess now we hope that they do were.
Now I hope that they do wear and don't have an Urza. Well, Urza is like plus four cards this game when we mulliganed. Still might not be enough. The path, the mountain, the bobble draw, and we didn't spend a card on it. I guess plus three cards for no draw step investment. Whatever, Lurus is broken. Why do I have to defend this all the time? How's the random matchup? matchup? I don't know. Probably not good. Okay, draw smash the smithereens this turn or lose. Guess we chose the or lose option, huh? Gaslight, 12 months. Hope you have a good day today. Yeah, stings to lose this one. Not much to be done about it. My opponent has literally nothing we could theoretically win. But it, like, it, we have to draw the smash to you this turn. If they have Urza, we die. Feels bad. I've now lost playing for trophy five t or three three times in a row. Three times in a row, which stinks. But deck felt pre pretty good. I might play some more of it. Might not. I think tomorrow I'm gonna play some more Grixis Shadow, and I'm gonna call the stream here too. We're a little bit over. I need to work for CFB tonight or do some writing and some lunch. It's been a hard couple of, uh, couple of leaves.